um first of all thank you so much um for taking out uh, your precious time for this uh, small uh, session and uh, uh, i'll introduce myself as well i am yavanika i am working as an ops and uh, growth specialist at curate so um i just wanted to uh, since you have been uh, a part of curate uh, since a good amount of time now so i would just want to have uh, you know a, a feedback from your end about how your experience has been with curate so um uh, there are a few questions i would like to ask you uh, to regarding the whole hiring process and the candidates that uh, you have received through curate right so um um Uh, it will be great if you could tell me like how did you uh, come across to know uh, like uh, about curate uh, for your hiring uh, process no 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 girish will be talking about yeah uh, see uh, one of our director co founder mani mani kandan sir referred uh, so curate so sajay is a junior of uh, iimpm well studying so so when okay. we are stuck with the recruitment so obviously mm -hmm. madam suggested for pure consultants so we took i mean so we got good candidate from the pure this is what the, so i think ajay so to so mani is a not an ajay is known to mani i i i think uh, they happen to you know get connected and they were discussing and i think that's when mani got to know that ajay is in the you know running a recruitment uh, business in the name of curate uh, so that's mm -hmm. when he happened to and since i was uh, it's a peak season for us so recruitment mm -hmm. is a priority now so that's when we mm -hmm. happened to uh, get connected with him and we just passed on the details to us saying that these are the people who are into you know recruitement who could help us uh, within shorter time uh, getting the candidates and i think uh, mm -hmm. you have certain set of uh, process in terms of uh, link where we have to give it certain details and all of that so we had shared couple of our requirements that is to start with the maybe the bdns Right. and uh, for across locations like uh, initially with bangalore and uh, pune mm -hmm. and hyderabad as well so that's how yeah. i started with uh, curate great great so so good to know that so uh, i would love to know like uh, how has your uh, if before curate how was your hiring uh, experience on your, uh, your you know credos end uh, uh, without having any hiring consultancies uh, assistance How uh, how was your experience before curate uh, when it came to hiring? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was good. We were also be able to manage to do it. But what happened is we are a, a small member team. We are just about three member team. I mean four member team in the HR where one person takes care of IT and admin activities. so it's mm -hmm. left with uh, you know uh, three people and out of which one person had to i mean had met with an accident and unfortunately had to go on leave so it was mm -hmm. like we were left with only two people and uh, handling so much of volume would be a little challenging and in a shorter period of time right, right. so that's how curate was uh, there at that point in time to get us uh, you know It, at, otherwise it was the same, same turnaround time that we had in terms of getting the candidates or closure since we have other act, hr activities also to be taken care of our focus little was deteriorating on the recruitment front right 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 so it was like an uh, curate was in helping hand uh, to fulfill our requirements uh, specifically you know in this peak time absolutely it's so good to know that so uh, uh, i would love to know from both of you like are there any specific um uh characteristics or any key key, pay, uh, key points that you look into a good candidate according to credo what are those good characteristics of a good candidate maybe for a sales role or for a ops role the sales role i mean anything is that that they want to be passionate in that field and they want to grow right so especially when it comes to sales feel maybe uh, after a certain point in time they lose out on to be on sales and they want to move into some other uh, you know field where they want, don't want to be on calls traveling and all those stuff so all mainly what we will look at in the sales person is a passion towards sales right. and a go getter kind of an attitude 
Of course, the understanding the trainings and all of that will be pro provided here. That's where we will not be specific about people from the uh, education background itself. But then if it is from the education background, it's always preferred because it will be a little easier for them to, you know, go get it kind of a thing. But otherwise also there are people who are smart enough who are not from an education, you know, uh, mm -hmm. background, but still mm -hmm. they are fast learners and go-getters as they have passion towards uh, sales. So Absolutely. that is the understanding, listening and mm -hmm. uh, reciprocating and passion towards sales is what matters uh, in an individual. Absolutely. So, so insightful of you. So, um, I believe, uh, how many, how many candidates, uh, have landed, uh, towards Credo till now? I think it has been a month, uh, uh, since yeah. we have been hiring, right? About a month. a month and a half, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More than a month. More than a month. So around how many candidates, uh, uh, might have joined Credo till now? Eight, 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 eight. Eight this employees. Around eight. Yeah, around eight. There yeah. are a couple of backups, excluding mm -hmm. them. Uh, onboarded ones are about eight people. Eight we people. Offered uh, many candidates, but uh, mm -hmm. they couldn't join. Majorly, all of them were from Bangalore location, right? Bangalore, Pune. See, Pune, we offered uh, yeah. six, yeah. seven, mm -hmm. but uh, we got Drop only two or three more. candidates. Yeah, most of mm -hmm. the closures has been in Bangalore, like you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While uh, though we had selects, but uh, onboardings were less comparatively in Pune. But we got more resumes for Pune. <laughs> right, right, right. Cool. So, uh, would like I would love to know if you would recommend, you know, uh, other recruiters, be it from edtech industry or any other industry like fintech, um, uh, you know, SaaS, any other industries. Would you like recommend curate or uh, to your fed or uh, you know? your known uh, uh, organizations. And sorry, can you repeat it? Sorry, I was saying that uh, since you, uh, it sounds like your experience has been uh, good enough with Curate. So I was asking if you would recommend, you know, if you would uh, recommend other organizations who are looking for sales or operations uh, employees, be it in edtech industry or any other industry like SaaS or FinTech. So would you recommend Curate to them as well? Definitely. Operations side, I think it took a little time uh, for you to, you know, get hold of the kind of profiles that we wanted. But otherwise, uh, it was, I think, fairly fastly picked up. So definitely you would refer to others. Absolutely. That's so good to know. So uh, just one last question. Like, uh, was the hiring process uh, faster before Curate or uh, after Curate? A process has been the same once we have a right candidate for the requirement. What I can say uh, in terms of fastness is where we could get more people in a short time. While we were not having that bandwidth to look out for that many people. So the fastness in terms of getting more people in shorter time was a plus. Otherwise, the process wise, uh, you know, uh, from a profile shortlisted, uh, other process has been the same. So that's uh, that's a, a fast process what we also follow, except for the number of people that we were to get for interview scheduled. Mm -hmm. And one of the help was that you were coordinating to have those schedules and all, and all of that done. So that that you know gave us a leverage of a little bit of time. Cool, cool. So good to know that. So good to hear. So uh, thank you so much, uh, Rohini and Girish. Thank you so much for taking your time out uh, to give this uh, testimonial session. And uh, uh, there, are, I think there are a few more uh, people uh, who are going to be joining Credo very going to join Credo very soon. So I think the openings are still still working on, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 So uh, wish you all the best and also happy New Year. Uh, since New Year is around, so happy New Year to both of you and all the best to Credo as well. I wish, I hope, uh, Credo grows and grows uh, with the coming New Year. And uh, thank you so much for taking this time out for the session. Uh, sorry, I missed your name. Thank you. I missed your name. My name is Yavalika. Yavalika. So yeah. thanks so much, Yavalika. Please convey our uh, you know, thanks and wishes to. 
uh, Ajay and uh, Parmeet, who was the initial point yeah. of contact for us. And I think now it is Pranjali who is managing. So, Kanye, our wishes and thanks to them being supportive at that peak timing to get, uh, you know, few onboardings uh, for us. So, which definitely helped us to, you know, action on our business plans. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your wishes. Thank you. Have a nice day ahead. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.